Flash Gordon for me is kind of mythical and strange because when I was a child I lived in Goldthorpe, halfway between Doncaster and Barnsley as a Yorkshire boy and in the local cinema every Saturday was Flash Gordon and it was Buster Crabbe who was a marvellous Flash Gordon. I mean he was always in pain when he got you know at the end of each episode when he was in trouble he, he expressed pain and of course he was a gold medal swimmer and gold medal diver and all that at six foot three and a damn good actor. And it was in 20 episodes or 10 episodes and you go each week to watch it and you wonder what would happen at the end of each one and it's bloody well done you know I remember that music and it haunted it was Flash Gordon had more effect on us as school children than anything else in cinema it, in black and white it had a strange act those rockets going around boom 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 to Litz's music boom boom and all the way through the series, there was always a slight moaning sound when you're on Mongo. So it's always sinister, and the images were amazing. And I got, you know, we then, at the end of an episode, uh, the railway embankment was outside, you get these great steam trains coming through, and we'd run down the embankment, jumping, doing dasties, it meant dares. And you pretend to be, and I was pretending to be Voltar. I was always, pretend, and I'd jump over the bushes down the embankments, and I sprained my uh, leg, I remember, very badly, because I thought I could fly. And I, I never dreamt that eventually I'd actually play Voltar in the film, but I enacted it as a child.